What's up everybody, Lucas here. So continuing this series from trampoline to the ground, learning moves on the trampoline in a specific manner so that we can take them to the ground and do them there within a matter of seconds. Optimism, but you gotta focus. The B twist is one of those confusing moves, all right? A little confused, you're just like, what? what is that, you know? The motion of the B twist in the air is the same if we do the hack B twist on the trampoline as it is on the ground. So if you get it down on the trampoline, which you can do so because you can fall on your back on the trampoline without, you know, getting hurt like you would on the ground. For those of you guys still having trouble with this move and have access to a trampoline or maybe even a spring floor, learn it like this and then I'll show you guys how to take it to the ground, all right? We are going to learn this movement on the trampoline, but what I want you to do is I want you to get used to doing a, a simple 360. This should only take like 15 seconds, okay? You jump up, you rotate your upper body, and then follow with your lower body. Jump up, 360. Also notice, arms come in, all right? Which increases the rate of my spin. If I just leave them out, it's hard. You gotta use the upper body to help turn you into a 360. First things first, which way do you spin? Or which way do you like to do your 360? I like the 360 towards my left shoulder, which means I'm gonna have my left foot out first when it comes to doing the B twist on the ground or on the trampoline. Now what you're gonna do on the trampoline is you're gonna form a shape like this, like this, and my right foot's straight. See? Boom. B twist setup. We're gonna be turning towards that left leg, but look it, you're not gonna be spinning this way, okay? You're not even gonna be spinning this way. You're actually gonna do go all the way around to this side and you're gonna do the 360 over here. So, this motion. So I want you to do this motion, like this. Forearm freaks are gonna be like, wait, what about the dip? We're gonna use the dip on the ground. You don't need it on the trampoline, okay? You get, you're gonna get so much bounce, okay? So just this, go up, down. Yeah, well, you kids like that, don't you? Yeah, okay. Now what I want you to do is you can jump like this, okay, so I'm facing this way, and then I go like that, and just roll over onto your back, dude, that's slow. Look at that, you're already starting to twist in the air, it's looking cool. Huh. And the back side here, see? All right, all the B twist is, is you're going to complete that 360. I'll do a quick one for you so you guys can see it. So right when you jump is when you, you initiate the motion, so there, ready? Boom. So if you really want to hack this to death, you can just go like this, 360, 360, 360, 60s, like that. Boom. So obviously the bounce on the trampoline is different than the ground, but the feeling in the air is exactly the same once you take it to the horizontal level. We're taking this to the ground now. The feeling in the air when you're doing that B-twist on the trampoline is gonna be how it feels when you do it on the ground. Now, the key point is the setup. I'm going this way with my B-twist, okay? So I have my left foot out like this, my right foot straight, so I'm like an L. Now the difference is, instead of starting up here, we can start down low like this. So the difference is you wanna come down in the back at first, swing down, and then push up. Boom. Key point when taking the B twist to the ground. We need to compensate for that bounce we lose on the trampoline by jumping off of this foot, but also you can get more height and get yourself more horizontal if you kick back with this foot as you jump. So, so this foot in the back kicks up as you jump up with this one at the same time to help you jump higher. All right, you need to chain everything together to maximize. Once you work through those exercises, now you're gonna have enough height to be able to do the B-twist on the ground. Now you can get a little bit more momentum by starting the wind-up. So you can start facing this way, then you pivot into it. You see that? Pivot into it, okay? So I go pivot into it, start low, and then up. So now as you bring your body through here, as you leave the ground, that's when you initiate the turn and do the 360, okay? So if you wanna just milk it on the ground a few times, you don't have to do the full dip, you can just go. Just do that a few times, I mean really. Once you get that down, you're gonna to have to commit, all right? Remember, it's the same feeling 
in the air as it was on the trampoline. That's what you need to get in your head because that'll help you get over the fear and just commit to it on the ground and then you can land. Just get this down. So you start with your pivot, you pivot, foot placed, scoop it up, jump up, kick that back leg up, jump off the toe, do the 360, come around and you land just like you did on the trampoline. It's exactly the same, the exact same feeling, all right? That's it guys. If you guys are looking to perform better with your body weight, check out my 12 week calisthenics training program. Body weight beast. Onlykindsfitness.com. Thanks so much for watching. Upload Sunday through Thursday. Don't forget to subscribe. More crazy videos coming out. Peace. You all have a good one. I'll see you guys next time.